Hi guys, Ash uh, and this is my installation and review video for Chris Kalo uh, 11.2 uh, so uh, this is pretty much applicable to any Chris Kalo update that comes going forward so uh, alright so starting with the installation part uh, the first thing you need to do is uh, download the kernel from link 1 that will be speed mod kernel and uh, from link 2 get uh, Chris Kalo Alright, that's link to is to the original thread, go there and download the ROM. First off, no matter what ROM you are in, just go ahead, press volume up, power and home. As long as your phone is rooted, just press and hold it. Once you see Galaxy Note displayed, you can let it go. Alright. Now this will boot you into recovery. So in recovery just scroll down uh, to install zip from SD card just scroll down to install zip from SD card choose zip from SD and now I've, uh, sorry I've got it in internal flash speed mod kernel install speed mod and just wait for the installation to complete alright now that's done now go back go into advanced and hit reboot recovery alright we're back in so now go down wipe data factory reset <coughs> wipe cache partition advanced wipe down the cache and now go back install it from SD card choose it from M sorry uh, guys, uh, once you flash speedmon kernel, it's normal for the memories to be uh, swapped as an in, uh, internal SD might show your external SD and vice versa. Just don't worry about it. Now going to Chris Kalo ROM 11.2. Yes, install. So let's just wait for the installation to complete. And. Arrow mask loaded now. Alright guys, usually uh, if you see I don't do the installation part in a review video but uh, for Chris Kalo there are so, ma so many options while installation uh, a lot of customization options that I couldn't actually ignore the installation part while making a review of it. So that's the reason I'm doing this installation as part of the review. Yeah, uh, just, uh, just zooming out a bit. All right, hitting next, next, next. All right, over here you can select. In case you don't know, you just want a a, a ROM basic without any extra apps or whatever. You can select to install ROM the install app auto. This is the light version, so this will just select the defaults for you. All right, so we are gonna go to custom installation here and it'll ask you whether you want to do a full wipe you can hit yes but we just did it manually so I'm gonna hit no alright so here's the first page you get an option for the Samsung keyboard ICS browser plus camera ICS mod home my home live wallpaper S3 the my files app photo editor Chinese stock keyboard um, weather widget with a clock widget uh, social hub from Samsung I don't want that, I don't want the widget Sony Walkman hitting next that's page 2 over here you have uh, sim card servers, I'm not sure about it swipe keyboard, talkback Samsung launcher stock video editor, live wallpaper, Aurora the font 
keychain permits between different APKs. Again, I'm not sure on what this is, guys. You've got quite a few of those. Polaris Office, text to speech, voice search, voice talk. Next, got your stock analog clock, days widget, DLNA. DLNA is for streaming stuff. Uh, Dual clock, Kobo, Mini Diary, Mobile Print, Music Hub, Photo Wallpaper, Press Reader. Again, you've got Reader's Hub, Samsung Apps, Unit 3, Stock Clock, S Choice, Blue C. again this is to set the clock to this uh, the clock on the notification bar you can set it center right or this uh, the stock uh, Samsung I'm gonna leave it as center again uh, options between music effects and awesome beats audio and the digital clock I'm gonna select the HTC version again the USB mod which selects whether by default you go to uh, mass storage or by default MTP key the key stock uh, USB of Samsung a PlayStation certification on Sony Bravia engine on next the kernel you can select the kernel I'm gonna use I'm gonna select uh, speed mod and let the modem be LPK hit install now alright guys the installation is done Hitting next, rebooting the Galaxy Note now. Alright, guys, we're up. Just getting through uh, setup quickly. Sign in. Not now. So we got we get the two launchers. Touch with home would take you to uh, the S3 style launcher and TW launcher will be the Galaxy Note 4.0.4 .4 default touch with launcher okay just it's generally smooth it's just that the phone is just boarded up just quickly turning it off connecting via Wi-Fi connecting all right. So guys, uh, in general, this ROM is really fast, zippy, and it's very, very smooth. All right, I've got no uh, no stability issues. Everything works. Uh, the Wi-Fi works. Uh, there's no issues with 3G. The Bluetooth works fine. GPS gets a great fix. Uh, I have absolutely no issues. Add to that, you get the 15 bar toggle as well, and that is customizable. And you also get shortcuts over here so uh, that's for the notification bar uh, apart from that it's your general your regular Samsung um, Samsung based launchers uh, it's really fast and the tran it tran the transitions are pretty smooth of going to the app draw you get quite a few extra apps which, which we selected uh, during the installation part of this video uh, like awesome beats uh, home my home and so on uh, again you also get roller tube that is to download YouTube videos uh, alright and as far as the notification goes again the quick panel settings will actually give you a few options like hide on change if you say for example I just tap on GPS it still stays over here but if this option is selected I tap on GPS and it goes back up so and you get the widget buttons what needs to be selected and what not brightness modes sound modes and then you got the widget button order say for example I drag mobile data down and there you see mobile data is over here so pretty decent you also get the extended uh, 
device options over here and hitting restart will again give you reboot hot reboot download and recovery modes and as far as the browser goes uh, you get an option to insta install the ICS uh, plus browser so that's again a pretty decent option um, and select as default you also get some uh, extra wallpapers and so on so just going into wallpaper gallery these are the wallpapers you get some of the S3 ones are included and again with live wallpapers you have choices uh, while you install, install the ROM and these are the ones that I've selected so guys as far as the camera goes it works perfect no issues uh, with the mod that we flashed uh, the volume keys take on the zoom functionality so that's a decent feature 8 megapixel shots no issues works fine uh, the video recording is fine 1080p gets recorded without any issues as with the phone menu you get uh, you get an inbuilt call recording feature and uh, uh, SMS uh, does not appear on call logs and apart from that when you text uh, going past three messages you do not get converted to uh, MMS automatically you also have some extra features under settings you can toggle for fast dormancy and uh, you can access your quick panel settings from here you got the CPU spy information uh, showing you what speed what clock speed your CPU has been running at for how, how many percentage of the time and uh, over here you get your CPU monitors showing you what's been working your CPU how much uh, these are all useful in case you run into, run into some issues uh, maybe some app causing issues or whatever you can find the find information from there and uh, this is for country code the CSE change and uh, Samsung secret codes you got a lot of these so and uh, that's Chris Kalo 4.0.4 ice cream sandwich and your general 4.0.4 uh, features work fine for example uh, and uh, security you do get signature unlock option and uh, also the power player works fine so let me just quickly open up some file to show you that video player so there you see it pop up player works without a glitch perfect so uh, let's quickly move on to running some uh, quadrant I mean benchmark tests here guys uh, running a full benchmark we have our results and we're hitting around 3000 running on to the benchmark here starting test SD card So there we have it guys, 5535. So that's pretty much it guys for the installation and review of uh, Chris Kalo. Uh, so if you guys have any comments, leave it in the comment section. Or if you have any queries, uh, if you have any issues and you want to contact me for assistance, you can hit me up on Facebook or Twitter or you can email me directly. All my contact details are in the description. So uh, before you go guys, make sure you hit the like and subscribe buttons. I will be coming out with more videos for the Galaxy Note, the One X, the uh, S3 and the Nexus 7 uh, and if you guys do want to do me a favor hit my links to Amazon in the description uh, if, there, if you want to order something online and if you can order it off Amazon go through my links and if you do I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks uh, depending on the value of the order you place you don't have to necessarily purchase smartphone related or Galaxy Note related stuff 
just go through any of those links, use the search bar on Amazon, just search for what you want, purchase it. If you've gone through my links, I tend to make a few cents to a few bucks uh, on your order. So that is if you guys do want to help me out. And uh, yeah, most importantly, hit the subscribe button. So, I mean seriously, hit the subscribe button. That's pretty much it guys. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Till then, you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.